Okay guys, this is Mr. Weber and I am here to show you how to complete the Chrome Song Maker Lesson 3. Oops, 3. Uh, this is just like Lesson 1 too, except a different song. So, if you understood those, you'll probably understand this one. But I did put in a little thing to remind you to uh, please follow directions. It makes this assignment so much easier if you follow the directions. First direction would be to click that link. So I'm going to click it. And it takes me here to the Chrome Music Lab Song Maker. Um, one of the things I like to do to make it easier for me to put in the, the pictures and stuff is to put this into its own window. And that way I can tab back and forth uh, with a sh uh, an easy keyboard command. So I had to move the tab to a new window. And then if I just go Alt Tab, I can jump between the two of them quite quickly. All right. So first thing I need to do is I need to change my settings in the Chrome Song Maker. Okay. So this is what I need to change it to. Let me see if I can stop moving. There we go. Uh, one of the things uh, that I, there's only really like three things to change. One, this uh, the length to 16 bars. Here, where it says G, uh, I think in the original settings it'll say C, so we got to change it to G. And here, where it says one octave, the default settings are uh, two octaves. So that I do know I need to change. So I'm going to tab back over to the Chrome Song Maker. I'm going to go down here where it says settings, click it. And like I said, look, it says four. So I know I need to change that to 16. There we go, it says 16. I know I need to change this C to a G. So I go down to G and click it. And where it says two octaves here, I need to make that say one. And there I go. The rest of the settings are just fine. So remember, it's right here for the length. The start on, I gotta change that to G, right? And then the range from two octaves down to one octave. And then it's all set. So I click the blue button. But you can just tab back and check. Does it match? Yes, it does. So I click the blue button and now I'm ready to draw. So I'm gonna put that back down. And I did miss one direction. I forgot to put in my first and last name. Nate, that's me. Hey, going down. So I've also put the instructions in uh, to form uh, so just make sure you click those off, because if you don't, the form won't let you uh, save. Okay, but not that big of a deal. Okay, so this song has four pictures, so you have to insert these carefully, okay? One, two, three, and four. Um, if you don't, then your song is not going to come out right. So, once again, I like to zoom in, because it makes things a lot easier when I'm going to recreate it. When making this song, there are a couple elements. The stuff up top, the melody, these colored boxes, and these blue circles and triangles below, and that is the uh, drum part. So those things I got to uh, put in. And you also notice there's sections of white, sections of gray, okay? These are the different measures. Um, so in this, uh, these are four measures, if you look at it. So I go through and I'm gonna recreate it. So let's see. I'm going to turn off the sound because I don't want you to hear what the song is as I'm putting it in. So let's see. I think there's red. Oh, that's not red. There we go. So I got three reds there. And notice the spacing between them. Okay, this is very important. Otherwise, it's not going to come out right. So all I'm doing is tabbing back and forth to put in the different colors. Okay. See, it's back here to the white, yellow, yep, yellow. I'm just looking at the spacing up here. I'm making this look the same. I get back and forth between the two, Alt, Tab on my keyboard. And then that green one down there, okay. Okay, so now that I've recreated it, I gotta look and I gotta check, does it match? My sources say yes. So, I put in the colored boxes up top. Now I got to put in the blue circles and um, triangles. So just kind of watch. There's a lot of patterns here, so I think you can get it right away. 
This I can let you hear. Ooh, drums. Now you can change the different sounds. I think when I originally did this, I put in conga just to make it sound different, but it's up to you. What do you want to hear? Now, let's see, a couple triangles here. Now I moved through this pretty quick because I have gotten quite good at it. And I kind of memorize what's going on. Oops, that was wrong. So you always got to watch an error check. Okay, now I think I've got it. So I'm going to look back and forth. So here's why I have to recreate. And this is what I made. Yeah, it looks good to me. Okay, so that's one of four done. Picture one. So I'm going to scroll down. Now, when you go to scroll over, um, notice that the little blue bar on the bottom is not all the way over like it was the last two times. It's only part of the way over. So I will slide it over just until I get to the next set of white. Okay, right there. All right, there we go. And my phone's going off, of course. So, okay, here I am on the second measure, second four measures. Now I got to recreate that picture. So I'm going to start up with the uh, colored boxes. Oops, I wasn't supposed to let you hear that. Blank that out. Okay, jump back. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we got the other ones up here. Couple of orange, nothing like a couple of oranges. And then red. Remember, I'm looking at the spacing here. Okay, making it match. Ooh, and two greens this time. Green, green. Okay, so we got a quick error check to see if I got the right colored boxes up top. Oh, let's see. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more. There we go. All right. Green, purple, purple, green. Yellow, yellow, orange, orange, red. And the greens at the bottom. Okay, now I just got to put in the rhythm down here, the uh, squares and triangles. So let's see. Yep. Oh, we can hear that. So let's go. Two of them. There's always something going on here with sounds. Let's see. Yep, got that. Okay, now I'm down under these yellow boxes. Oops, let's have two of those. So I'm just going back and forth, making a match. Okay, I got it now. Let's see. Oh, it matches. Okay, so I've gotten picture number two done. All right, so I need to get to picture number three. A lot of reds here and a couple of greens. So once again, the blue bar on the bottom slides over to the right just a little bit more. So I slide just until I get to the next set of blank. And there we go. A little too much. There it is. Oops, that's not supposed to be there. Okay, don't want you to hear this part. So, all right, so space out these reds. Oh, I missed a couple of greens on there. There we go. And 
a whole bunch of reds here in this next white spot. Faced. Got a match. Ooh, long red bar there. And, okay. So, do they match? This one, you got to be careful about the boxes. Let's see. Yeah, I got all the red boxes and the two little green boxes. Now I just got the uh, circles and triangles on the bottom. And you notice the pattern here kind of matches where the red boxes are. So this could be easy. Oops, I said easy and then I mess up. Oh, and we can hear this part. Then nothing under the greens, just under the reds. It's gonna make it go a lot quicker. Bop, bop, bop. And then three circles. Dum, dum, dum. And up top, two triangles, two circles. This is almost too easy. And then both of them are into that one. Okay, now to error check. So I go between the two. There's my Google form. There's the song maker. Looks all good to me. All right, so it looks like I got just one more picture to go. There we go, turn off the sound. And now I gotta scroll over. So for this last picture, when I go over, it should take me all the way. And what do you know it does? Okay, I'm gonna do the boxes again. Green one, some purples, just going back and forth. So this is all you'd have to do. And you do this, of course, at your own speed. And let's see, got green and one more red. Let's see, does that match? Well, my sources say, yeah, that matches. Now what we gotta do, we gotta put in the drums in the bottom. So I can turn the sound back on so I can hear it. Yep. Phone again. So I'm just going back and forth to make the match. Oops. Yep, almost got here. Okay, now to error check. Back and forth. Do they match? Yeah. Looks pretty good. All right. Now, uh, the next step, of course, is to push play, okay? Which I'm gonna do. And what do you know? You don't hear anything right now because I don't wanna give it away in this video because you're supposed to listen to it and say, oh, that song sounds familiar. It's this, click, 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 and you type it in. But um, if you do this right, Trust me, it will sound familiar, okay? And I've even put a couple clues into the Google form of what song it should be, if he looks carefully. So you get to the end, okay? Go back to the Google form, and what does it say to do now? Okay, it says, after you've made all four of these picture, should be pictures, then do the following. Listen to it and tell me the name of the song. So you're going to type in the name of the song. Okay. So obviously that's not the name of the song because I'm not giving it away. So you should, you'll be typing in something different. Now you need to share your work. How do you do that? Hmm, I wonder. Well, it looks like there's a couple of things to do. One, you click the save button, which is down here in the bottom right. Click copy link. Okay, so I'm gonna do those two things. 
where is save oh here it is right down here and where's that copy link well you, well you know it's right there so I've done it if I go back to the form uh, let's see did I do this yep I did that yep I did it go down to the bottom and it says paste your link right here so I'm going to click control B or I can just right click and click paste and then what I'm all done so I click submit and what do you know it says for me that I am all set I will verify your submission soon Weber out that's me I'm out so if you think you've goofed up you can always click here and edit your response and that will take you back into the form and you can fix whatever you need to fix and resubmit if you need to okay and then you are all done okay so hopefully uh, this explains how to do this uh, lesson easily enough and so on so good luck with this and i look forward to watching and reading your submission and listening to it